and we are back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. Uh, Griffin Chestnut being Richard's online YouTube alias, and today Richard is reviewing this book for us, and the book is The Peterson First Guide to Birds of North America by Roger Tory Peterson. Uh, this is from the Peterson Collectives edition. That is from the National Audubon Society, uh, the Pocket Guide, uh, throughout mammals, uh, field guides to fishes, uh, completely revised, and all new photography. Uh, this was uh, given to Richard uh, after his Operation Hygiene, which uh, formulated his uh, atrocious new interest in marine biology. And uh, he was able to obtain this piece <coughs> after the year 2014, which is the year he started his blog. And you can find the information on his blog in the description down below. Richard is here and he is reviewing this piece for us. He uh, has a sudden obsession for the uh, state of the art and uh, marine life of uh, birds of North America. North America, of course, is where Richard resides. He lives here and uh, he, he breeds here as well. Uh, he does all of his writing in North America and all of his natural and his own illustrations also in North America, um, where he uh, finished his intended permanent residence after he uh, did his cautions with a positive charge and his cautions with a negative charge. Um, this piece right here is a uh, Richard exclusive, so we take good care of it. But all in all, this piece, Richard gives thumbs up. Actually, he gives two thumbs up for this piece. Richard is a fan of the Peterson Field Guides. Richard has read a significant number of them over the years, and he published and reviewed most of them here on his YouTube channel. Due to constraints of time, Richard is unsure if he's ever going to be able to complete all of them. Uh, mainly because he's extremely busy, um, as the papers would have you believe. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we can take a look at this piece. This is a personal pocket piece from Richard, and it's in very good condition. Uh, this piece is a soft cover. As you can see, the wave is good. It's got very good cream. Very good wave, very good cream. And it is a bit of a, an odd-shaped piece, but as you can tell, Next to your normal human hand, it's got um, it's got great cream. So it's got good shine and good cream. Everything is in good condition. So even the top cream and a little bendage right here. This looks like some bendage. So top cream, very good cream. Side cream, very good cream. Bottom cream, very good cream. And even the side. So we have Peterson First Guide to Birds of North America. This is the Peterson edition. So this Peterson edition, uh, should it ever come out again, is the official Peterson edition that was uh, the narrative in which the Peterson edition has been brought to us. On the back, there is some uh, more images in the, in the full color and uh, more dialectic information given to us through the Peterson edition. Uh, there is a price above here. This is categorized as nature, and the barcode shows that the price is $8.99 and even hashtags it as higher in Canada. So we know that from being a connoisseur, and Richard appreciates pieces of high value. He finds these pieces, reviews them here online, and the operation is not complete until each piece is reviewed and thoroughly dissected. This is an international view, whereas Richard understands this, and he's able to fortify it. So this piece right here, very good condition for the Peterson First Guide, Rory Troyes. Okay, and these are the parts of the bird that Richard wanted to understand. So in the introduction, you can see that it gives you all the pieces of the bird, the crown, the jewel, the beak, the shoulder, the chest, the eye pack, the back, the back, the rump, the top, the, t the teat, the bloop, and the beep. And the bloop and beep are formulated in, t in terms of a little, like a, a mellow, like a burr, 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 sort of where the bird goes burr, burr, burr. And that's how you know the bird gives a, 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 a stature, uh, what is the same time period when the bird is quietly announcing to its, um, 
its articles that the great treasure hunt can be found through different dialectic speeches. Uh, he was a professor at Tolles College, so Richard found that um, Mr. Roger Tory Peterson was one to keep an eye on after the consideration of that. So thank God for that, and Richard uh, no longer possesses, possesses the Armstrong for that. Um, as you can tell, this also gives some dialectic nature in how birds stand and the, uh, the Russian silhouettes of how to properly um, viewpoint any birds in the notion of North America. And these are all billiard ducks, northern shoveler, the common pinwheel, the orangutan, the blue point. These are all uh, very good pieces which you can find in the North American region. If you are here, if you're not in the North American region, you're going to have to find stuff in the Southern Hemisphere, which can help you give a dialectic point of view to a substantial transportation in the Antarctic competition. And this is just more beautiful artwork, illustrations from the author himself, done very well at a snail's pace. And most of these birds can be found in the Rottweiler's backyard, which uh, is a notion that Richard uh, drew upon deeply. This is the great blue heron, the little blue heron, and all the pigtails in between. And you can find all these birds in a, um, and this is the Townsend Wobbler. This is one of Richard's favorites, along with the Hooded Wobbler and the Milky, and the Milky Brown. The Milky Brown is also one of Richard's favorites. So, the information in this piece, very, very detailed, and thank God for the color. Thank God for um, Mr. Rory Peterson to give Richard the color of this piece on its own. Uh, Richard felt that although this piece is small, it is pocket-sized for the uh, type of notion that this piece can bring. It's more or less the uh, negative charge, which re Richard referred to earlier, as Richard can caution with the positive charge and the negative charge when he gets these different s sort of allies that he can predict between the two, and he's able to fulfill this. So this is more or less a micro book. Um, that Richard was able to obtain, so thank you for that, for this Peterson First Guide of American Birds, Rory Roger Peterson. This is Richard Reviews.